Welcome to this tutorial in which I want to show you how to use the templates and symbols element from Tribe Architect. It is important to know that the advantage of this element is that you can basically save certain elements that you have customized using your Tribe Architect editor and then reuse them later on the same page or even on different pages. So this means that you will not have to customize those elements all over again. Now what's the difference between a template and a symbol? Well, although both of them are saved in the same way, the difference lies within the way that you can use them on pages. So let's say that you have saved a template and you load it on 10 different pages. The changes that you will make to one of the pages will not be applied to the rest of the pages where the same template can be found. So for example, if you have this template and you modify this image, the changes will only be applied on this page, but not on the rest of the nine pages. However, if you do the same thing with a symbol element, meaning that you first save an element as a symbol and then you load it on 10 different pages, after that you can apply changes to a symbol from only one of the pages and the element will be modified on the other nine pages as well. So this is the main difference between the two elements. Symbols are synchronized, while templates are not. All right, so let's see how we can save a template or a symbol. All right, so let's say that I want to save these elements right here as a template. Now, what I have to do for that is, first of all, select the element that will include all of my elements. In this case, it's gonna be the columns element. Then once you select it, you will notice these four options in the top right corner of the selected element and the second one is the save icon. So click on it and a pop-up will open. Now this is where you will be able to choose whether you want to save the element as a template or as a symbol. In the left side of this pop-up, you will see a preview of the element that you are trying to save and also a button here, which if you click on, you will be shown all of the existing templates that you have previously saved. Now, if you do click on the show all save templates button, then of course you will see all of the other templates that you have previously saved and if you click on one then you will be able to update the existing template. So for example if you want to replace an old template with the one you're trying to save then simply choose the one that you want to replace and click on update existing template. Now we're not going to do that so I'm going to click on hide all saved templates and we will have to name the new template. So once I enter the name for this one, I'm gonna choose a category for it. Then to save it, of course, click on this green save new template option. Now, of course, the template will be saved. In case you want to save this as a symbol, the process is fairly similar. All you have to do is click on the save icon, but of course, instead of template, choose symbol here. Provide a name for it and choose a category. This category option is really helpful because it will make the template or the symbol easier to find when you will have multiple templates and symbols saved. After you save everything as a symbol, as you can see what's different to when we've saved it as a template is this option right here. The element will be called a Thrive symbol and you will also have this message here as well as two more options. Now, as I've mentioned earlier, a symbol will be an element that if you place on multiple pages and modify one element from one of the pages, the symbol will be modified on all of the other pages as well. This is why these two options will appear here, because if you click on edit as symbol, then the changes that you make to this symbol will be applied to all of the other pages where the symbol is added. But if you only want to make changes on this symbol from this page in particular, then you can click on unlink and just do the necessary modifications. You also have the layout and position and responsive options available for a Thrive symbol, for which we do have separate tutorials that you can check out if you want to see how to use these options. So now we have saved a template and a symbol. How do we add them to other pages and posts? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and open another page and show you how to do that. 
Okay, so I'm back on another page and let's say that I want to add the template right here. So the way to do that is to click on the plus sign from the right sidebar and look for the templates and symbols element. You can drag and drop it wherever you want it to be placed like so. And then as you can see, a pop-up will open. Now this was a failed attempt of mine to save the element as a template, but I've kept it just to show you that if you want, you can also delete certain templates and elements. And if you want to do that, simply click on the three dots icon right here and you can, as you can see, rename or delete them. And I'm going to click on delete and confirm. Please note that it is important to know that if you delete a template, you will not be able to use it on your website anymore. And also that deleting a symbol means that the symbol will be deleted from every instance where it was used on your website. Alright, so of course to add the template that you want or the symbol that you want, you can navigate through these tabs right here and just click on the template or symbol that you want to apply and add to this page. So the element has been added right here and you will be able to edit it and customize it as you wish. And even though you add the template to 10 different pages, if you modify anything to one of the templates from one page, the other ones will not be affected. Now, if we were to do the same thing, but add a symbol instead, then you will see again these options right here, where you will have to choose whether you want to edit the element as a global one, so simultaneously modify all of the symbols that you have applied to the other pages, or just unlink it and edit it as a regular element. Now there is one more thing that I want to show you and that is that you will also have access to the templates and symbols that you have created on your website from your Drive dashboard. So for that you can access your Drive dashboard from the left sidebar of your WordPress admin dashboard and then scroll down here until you get to the global elements card and then you can click on manage global elements. As you can see, this is where you will be able to see the content templates, the symbols and blocks, and this will be the ones that you have created. You will see them by categories here, and you can navigate through the symbols as well if you want, and you will also have your headers and footers that you have previously saved here. So this is also where you will be able to manage the templates and the symbols. If you go to the symbols tab here, you will see that you will also be able to create new ones if you want from this page and you can go to the category that you want and click on create new symbol. Simply enter a name in the pop-up that opens and click on save and edit with Drive Architect and naturally this will take you to the Drive Architect editor where you will be able to build your symbol from scratch. Now, as you can see, this will be an empty page and you can start by adding a block and then customizing everything as you wish. When you're done here, click on save work. And when you go back to the symbols and blocks tab from the global elements section, you will find the symbol that you've just created here and you will be able to edit it, move it to another category, make a copy or even delete it. Alright, so if for example you have created a page that is not a landing page and you have added multiple elements to it, so for example I've added a few blocks to this page, you might find yourself in the situation where you would like to save the entire page or the content of a page as a template and then use it in other pages as well. You can do that very easily by going to the right sidebar of this page and clicking on the gear icon where the settings are. Now as you can see one of the options here is called save as template and if you click on it then this pop-up will appear and you will have to provide a name for the template. Once you add the name click on save template and now for example if you want to add that content to another page you can simply click on the plus sign from the right sidebar, drag and drop the templates and symbols element and you will see that the page content has been saved as a template and you can click on it and thus the entire template of that page will be added to another page. Now this is how the templates and symbols element works in Drive Architect and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it useful.
Don't forget to also check out the other tutorials and also articles that we've created on our knowledge base if you want to get even more familiar with all of the Thrive Teams products.